Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're continuing on with the Choose Character script and we're actually going to fill out the voids for each of the characters this time. So we'll begin by coming to the first character and what we're going to do is actually destroy and we want destroy object we'll open and close brackets we'll close the line off and we want underscore character demo now what we're doing in this line is making sure that if there is any character model on screen at that moment that we get rid of it so we can load in the correct one so we'll say destroy current uh, we'll just say character demo object now the character demo game object defined by this naming convention is going to be whichever character is selected at the moment so let's say we move down the switch block to this one the in fact let's choose this one the red robot if we then move back to white it would destroy the red one and then load in the white one and if we move back to black it would destroy the white one and then we'd load in the correct character model which is what we're going to do in the next line so we're going to say the the underscore character demo and it's going to be equal to and we want instantiate we're going to open and close brackets and we're going to close the line off come inside those brackets and we're going to say resources dot load going to open and close brackets again we'll come inside this new set of brackets little speech marks and we want the naming convention of our model in this case black robot so let's paste that in and we want to come here after the last close bracket but before we close the line off and we'll just put as and we want game object with the capital G. We'll enter there. We'll break up the line for commenting. In fact, we'll enter there as well. So, how this will work if I downsize my new develop in the very next lesson. We're going to create another folder in our assets and this is going to be a resources folder and then we're going to have references or we're actually going to import our character models and we're going to store them within the resources folder once we've set them up and this is what this line does. It basically goes to the resources folder finds in this case black robot and it loads into the game as a game object and it makes it equal to this naming convention so let's put that in the comments so let's just put in character demo yeah we'll put game object is equal to the and we'll put black robot within our resources folder and for this one we can just put as a game object we'll enter there and then we're going to position it so we'll say character demo dot transform dot position and what we're going to do is say it's going to be equal to a new vector 3 
and then we want to open and close brackets we're going to close the line off and we're going to come inside these brackets so we need to position it on screen and if you bear with me I've actually written down the coordinates I want which is minus 0 0.5 f comma 0 comma and we're going to say minus 7 so I just experimented before this video I'm just going to enter here after the equal sign again breaking it up for commenting um, because I don't want my character just being loaded anywhere or just in the center of the screen I want my character sort of loading around here so we can have some space on this side to display the character stats which we'll be doing via the on GUI method now we're not actually going to fill this out until much later until we have some of the code in place for the characters so each one of them are assigned stats and then we'll come back to this script and that's when we'll do the GUI so even though we're not going to be filling the GUI out for a while now Please don't worry, we will be coming back to it. But for now, we're going to say set character demo position to a new vector 3 at. And what I'm going to do is just put open and close bracket. So we'll just put star. You can put the commas in if you want. Because you may want to change these values. These may not be right for you. But they're roughly where I want them. And I may tweak them values myself as we go along. But for now we're going to say underscore. And we want the first robot so robot black which is the underscore and what we're going to do is set it to be equal to true let's close that line off into the comment so we'll set set robot black to true and this will be a reference to which character we've actually selected to play as but um don't worry about this for now this is again code we're getting in place now that will be used really at a later date but please don't worry about that for now i just want to get the code in place so it's done it's ready so when we need to actually start the game we'll have a reference to which character we've selected and we will need to add some more code to this again at a later date but for now let's just get this in place and so we need to do this for every character but of course all the other characters need to be set to false so we'll say set robot white to false and we'll need to do this for each and every robot so let's just paste that in a couple more times and then we'll just need to go down and change the naming convention so this one will be robot red and the next one is robot blue and we'll want robot brown we've got a few more to do so the next one is for the green and pink and gold so there's the one for pink and finally for gold here. Just tidy up them comments. We'll change them to 
the correct color. And again, just a few more to do. And finally for gold. Let's just save that off there. Now, as you can see, I've not created a bowl for these up in the variables. And there's a reason why. We're going to come back and do that later. Um, but for now, let's just, as I said, get this code into place. Let's get rid of that empty line. And what we're going to do is copy all of the code. And we're going to paste that in to each and every function. So we've got a few more to do. And finally for the last one here for gold. So let's just scroll up. So black robot's done, we'll just collapse that down. White robot, so let's just copy and paste here. We'll paste it in there as well. And what we need to do is to change this one to false. We'll change the comment here. And we'll just set the next one down, white robot to true this time. And again, we've just got to keep going. So we'll change that one to red robot. Again, we'll tidy up the comments as we go. So again, false. And now we want to set robot red to true. And we've got quite a few more to do, but again, we'll just keep going. And once we have this code in place, in the next lesson, as I said, we're going to work on setting up the characters, getting the character models into the resources folder. We can actually then begin to test out this script. So please be aware that we cannot test it out at the moment. So don't worry if it's not loading everything. That will be sorted in the next video. But then we can also have a look back and just tidy up what we've done for now or well, not so much tidy up but maybe it's better to word it as um, just added a few little tweaks just to make the whole thing look a bit more like a professional game because that's what we're aiming for here once we've actually completed the series I want a well at least a polished product a polished game so we're just coming to the end of these all now we just got the last one to do for the gold robot and yes you'll have to do this for as many characters as you actually have but We've nearly done. We can save that off. So that's as code sorted out for now. And we can always collapse these up just to make things easier to read in the script. And as I said, in the next lesson, we'll actually come around to testing this script out. We're not set up yet, so as I've warned, please don't worry if it doesn't work at the moment now I hope I've explained everything well enough within this video but as always if there's anything you did not understand please leave a comment below or you can message me and I will always try my best to answer sometimes you may have to give me a day or two to 
get around to answering any questions but I always try and get around to them within a couple of days um, at the most so I think we'll leave it here for this video so as always I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now